How's it going everyone? I'm Walter the Film Hermit and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Savi exclusive How to Train Your Dragon Steelbook box set. Now this was exclusive to the UK but we did get steelbooks for these movies when they originally uh, came out on, when the third film came out on Steelbook. We got steelbooks for the first one and the second one and actually I picked up the first one on Steelbook uh, when it originally came out. I think it was like two years ago. And for some reason, I never got two and three on Steelbook. For some, I just couldn't find them anywhere. And Best Buy kept teasing me, like I would go on the website and I would see the second film and then it'd be gone. And, and the same thing with the third film would be there and it'd be gone before I had a chance to place an order. So I only had the first one. So I really wanted to get this set and basically have all three of them. So we're gonna do unboxing and take a quick look at it. Uh, the only ones I have so far is I had the first one on the 4K Steelbook I don't have it with me, but I picked up the first one in 3D, and actually the 3D transfer is actually really great. Uh, it didn't cost that much. I remember I bought that one used, and it was scratched, and it would freeze. And then Black Friday, a couple years back, I picked up another copy of it. And then I have the second one on 3D, which looks amazing as well. And I don't have the second one on 4K, so that's why this box set was really cool to finally get the second one on 4K. And then I have the third one on 4K, and I have it on... 3D as well. I picked up a 3D, you have to import that one from the UK as well. Uh, originally when this franchise came out, I didn't check it out. Um, I don't watch many animated films as an adult anymore, but I watched some. And I heard this, this franchise was so beloved. And when the third film came out, I was curious, I wanted to check them out. So that's when I started checking out the first one, the second one, and I saw this one on the theater. And I loved it. Really great animation, great characters, good movie. Uh, so we're gonna do an unboxing of this and go a little deeper into my experience with Zavi. So let's take a look at it right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at it. Looks like we've got a torn edge here at the bottom. Let me see if I can just go ahead and cut it there. Gently, not cut my box, perfect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tear the rest of it off. Okay. It's a really fresh, <laughs> very fresh open new box smell when you open this one up. Not something I get with movies a lot. But um, it's got the European certifications here. There's stickers. I might just tear these off because I don't really care about um, those certifications since I'm here in the United States here. But I like the artwork for the title here. Um, I don't recognize this flat. I, oh yeah, of course this is the um, this is a hick. This is the the dragon's uh, tail wing that he fixed. So. That's pretty cool. I like the the font. It's just like the the font they use in the movie for the dragon name there. So let's take a look at the spine. So the spine. Oh, I'm gonna do it sideways here. The spine has the European certifications too. These are not stickers, and then it just tells you you got the Ultra HD Blu-ray and then the regular Blu-ray as well. Let's take a look at the back of it. Um, no uh, J card. Some of these boxes usually have J cards, unless this is just stuck on here. If you wanted to take it off, I wouldn't want to take it off. It actually comes off. So there's a J card. It looks like there's some art behind it. It looks like it's just this symbol here. I don't really want to tear it off because um, I never take these off. But uh, let's take a look at the steel book. So we'll look at the first one first. So one thing I noticed about the steel books is this box is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be based on the picture. But now when I look at the picture again, it's about the size that it should be. I just I don't see how that poster fits in here. It looks like they did what they did with the Back to the Future steel books. They put these little dividers up the top here and the bottom to avoid the steel books from scratching each other. So at first I didn't like this because I was thinking, oh, these are going to scratch one another, but I think they'll be fine. One thing I didn't notice before was um, the DreamWorks symbol is actually on the bottom here of each steel. And, oh, son of a bitch, they're damaged. I just noticed that right now. The one that I really wanted the most, it's completely pushed and dented in right there. That is really annoying because this is a really expensive set and having to get damaged is not nice. I may not order any more expensive sets on Zav anymore. 
Because the problem is when you get them damaged, it's not worth sending them back because you have to pay so much money to send it back. Uh, maybe I'll reach out to them and see what they can do for me because this was not a cheap set. And that's really annoying. Just when I said them not getting damaged. But let's take a look and take a look at it. Uh, we'll look at the third one last. It's very hard to take these out. It's another thing about this too. When I try to reach in and pull one out, it's really, really tight. Really tight. Um, let me go ahead and try that that way. If I get these out of here, I may not put them back in this box. Let me try this. Nope. That doesn't help either. Kind of wishing I bought these separately, because if I bought them separately, I only needed to buy the second one and the third one. Okay. I think I jumped on this because they were sold out so quickly, but now I'm seeing that there's more of them on there. And the first one has a scratch. That's not nice. And, but I've got this one already. And I think my Best Buy one's not damaged. Let's look, take a look at the back there. Don't see any damage on the back. And then let's go ahead and open her up. There's not gonna be any digital copies because this came from the UK. So we open it up. We got a 4K disc there with the European certifications. We'll go ahead and just take that out. And then we'll take out the Blu-ray disc. And I think this is the poster that they were, oh, this is the map. So this is the map. Open this one out. Let me try to open it up and not damage it. And paper kind of fold into my hand a little too easily there. So let's take a look. This map is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be from the image that it showed in the picture, but maybe that's just my perception of it. But there's the little dragon map there. Uh, let's look at the back. There's no writing on the back. Let's set that right there. So then we have, let's see here. We got these little dragon cards going over the dragon. I guess they're gonna have cards. And there's Astrid. I guess we're gonna have cards in each set. The Best Buy Steelbooks did not have these. Let's take a look here. So, I gotta take a look and see if this is the same artwork that was inside the, the US one. I'll, I'll take a look and, and see. But that's decent, it's just a landscape, but no characters, no film scene, nothing like that. Uh, let me go ahead and snap these back in here. Can't believe that third one's damaged, I'm so bummed. So bummed. Let's take a look there. So, oh, put those back in there in a second. Let's grab the second one. So the second one. That is this the second one or the third one? This is the second one. Okay, yeah, this one I was hunting down on Best Buy many, many times. I can never, never find it. Uh, let me just take a quick look at here. The J card doesn't even have like a description of the film. I guess they just assume, well, if you're buying this, you know who's in it and everything. Let's take a look. So let's go ahead and look at the back. That's a nice image on the back. I don't see any damage to this one. Let's check the spine. Oh, we didn't look at the spine. There's a little bit of damage on the spine on this one. Let's take a look here. Um, the spine on the first one's fine. It just had that one scratch here. And then I had another expensive steelbook order on Zavi that I canceled. I'm glad I did because, you know, I got lucky the last year or so, but this is really disappointing. This is a set I was really looking forward to. And I'm not going to take the time to try to send it back and get an exchange for that. Okay, so we got some more dragon cards. Let's take a look and see who's in this one. Uh, Meat Luck, Grunkle, The Light Fury, which is actually in the third one. And then we got Hiccup. All right. Okay. Oh, that's right, the dragon in this one's a Night Fury, but right now I can't remember the dragon's name. Uh, it'll probably come to me later. Oh, there might be a card. Uh, that one, so this is the 4K disc that I did not have. So let me just 
See, at least the disc is in, disc is in good condition. So that's a little, I mean, at least we got that. Because I had this one in 3D only. I didn't have a 4K for the second film. Uh, let's see. Let me take a look at the Blu-ray. Without breaking it. Looks like I have to put a hand here to get it out of here. If not, okay, that's it. That's a lot of muscle gr grease to get that out of there. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's another landscape animation. Ah, it's okay. For the life of me, I don't remember what was in the the Best Buy ones. Probably the same steel look. Let me just put those back in there. All right. So the second film just had some slight damage. This might mark my last Zavi order. I'm very, very disappointed by this. Let's take a look. The spine. Some slight damage there. Part of me is like, maybe I shouldn't have opened it, but it doesn't matter because I'm not going to send it back. It's, it's not worth it. I do like this box though. The box is nice. Let's take a look. So this is the third film in the franchise. And this is not the same art that the Best Buy Steelbook had. Um, the Best Buy Steelbook, I'm going to put it in, had this artwork here. So when I saw that this was different, it kind of caught my eye. I was like, well, why is it different? And I was like, well, it's still nice. So if it's in a nice box, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so let's take a look at the back. And I'm not sure if the back had different art or not. And again, let's look at this damaged spine again. So it's like almost like when shipping, it got pushed in. It's just like completely pushed in there. That's really, really annoying. Very annoying. This one I had in 4K already. Let's pop that open toothless yeah name did not come to me thank thankfully for the card uh let's see here we'll take this out this is very similar yeah and i've got this one on 3d as well um i don't think i had a chance to watch this one on 3d yet uh so i think when i do watch these again I'll, who knows if i'll do the 3d or if i'll do the 4k um but i it's just good to have both options because these are really really good films uh, let's pop that out of there, and if it lets me, it's kind of tough, just like the other one. Nope, I get a better grip on it. There we go. There we go. That's the Blu-ray disc. So I think I'm gonna keep these UK ones in here, and then I'm gonna have I'm gonna keep my slip cover for the 4K for the third one, and my other still book. I guess I really don't need, but I'm probably end up keeping it anyway. So these are Toothless Night Fury and the Stormfly Deadly Natter. Those are the other two cards there. And that's the inside. I think this one I like the best because at least it has some of the characters from the film inside of it. So actually out of all these, I think this one has the best inner art. I'm just really bummed. Uh, let me take a look at the damage. You can see it on this side here. So it looks like the spine here was broken. The spine was broken and you can see the damage there. Um, I guess this video is like my proof of my unboxing, but I'm gonna take a little snap picture in case Zavi wants to see it. Maybe, you know, maybe I can get a little bit of savings on this because of the damage. So we got the damage there and we got the damage like right there. Let me get closer, the damage right there. I was hoping maybe something I could push back in, but it's like the plastic is popped all the way out here. So then basically, you know, you can't really push it back. And, and the spine is just gonna be forever damaged. It's kind of lame. Very, very lame. Very disappointed. Great uh, film franchise. Just disappointed that it arrived damaged. Okay, so we looked at the box set and disappointedly, it was damaged. And I really hate buying Steelbooks from Zavi because it's like a risk every single time. And these are still books that I really, really wanted. To me, it was like the last time I was ever gonna have to buy these movies. I would finally get that Steelbook for the third film. And even though the art was different than the art in the American one, I thought the art was really nice. But this damage to the spine here, like I'm just really disappointed. So I contacted Zavi and it took me close to two and a half hours to get a resolution. 
And since it's expensive to send it back to them, since now you live in the US and not the UK, I didn't want to return it or get it exchanged. So they offered me like a 15% refund, which is like nothing. Then they offered me a $20 refund. And then it got all the way up to $30, which it's not even enough to buy the third one again, quite honestly, once I pay for shipping and get it back. And it was just a terrible customer experience. Like they were telling me to go into their, their system and click messages and there's different messaging options to choose. And then it was the wrong messaging option. And then they were saying, every time I went to the messaging option, the chat ended. And then I just had to start it all over again. And every time it ended, the chat was no longer available. I had to wait another 20 minutes to an hour to get it back on the chat. And then after all that, I just get $30 back. This set in American dollars is like $130. And I'm getting $30 back. It's like, so what? So honestly, at this point, I'm not gonna say no more steelbooks, but I'm never going to order another steelbook from Zavi ever again. Um, I may not even order anything from them. The only time I think I might use them is they're like a UK exclusive that I, I have to get, like that I can't get here. But no more steelbooks. I don't wanna deal with any more steelbooks from Zavi that are damaged. It's not worth the headache of trying to get an exchange or the headache of trying to get a refund or at least a partial credit. This happens with Best Buy sometimes, but at least with Best Buy, since they're based here in the US, I can actually go to the store and get a replacement versus UK, in the UK, I can't just fly, get on a plane to fly to the UK to get a replacement. And mailing it back and spending $30 in shipping to get it replaced, it's, it's not really worth it. So um, honestly, I mean, what are you gonna do? I'm saying, I would say right now with the horrible customer service experience I've had with it, I just, I'm gonna keep these, might as well, um, but I'm not going to order any more exclusives from Zavi that are steelbooks. No more steelbooks from Zavi, I'm done with it, I'm over it. And I think I'm not alone. I think a lot of people I've seen online, they've had similar experiences with Zavi. Even people that live in the UK, they've had experience with Zavi. They're not happy with their customer service and how they get, they treat their customers. And, you know, I just got lucky the last couple of years that this is the first damaged one I've got for them at least two or three years. So I was just running with my luck. They don't use the best packaging when it comes to shipping. Their steel books. They've always had those little plastic, not plastic, but the cardboard boxes that put their steel books in, and they're really small and tiny. It's really easy, especially shipping overseas to get damaged. Not great. I just don't recommend using their service anymore for anyone out there if you want to make sure that you get quality things that aren't damaged, at least not have to have the headache of dealing with their customer service. So, anyway, um, if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. It greatly helps the channel. I'm a little disappointed here and it's a little late at night, but uh, thanks so much for all, all you guys for watching and you have a great night. Bye.